Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. I'm here in Seattle with Grant from Chef Steps. And um, like so far, we've seen some, some interesting ways to prepare food. I assume that this is some sort of unbelievable machine that right. I've never heard of before that's gonna just revolutionize the way I make food yep. five years from now. Yeah. What, 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 it looks like a microwave on The there. wave machine. Yeah, it's a microwave. It's a is really this, cheap microwave, actually. There's it, nothing special about it. Hopefully, what we're gonna uh, achieve is show you a new way to use it. Okay. Um, microwaves are, you know, they're common for uh, reheating or thawing frozen stuff. Mm -hmm. um, anything with moisture. Microwaves, as I'm sure you know, react with water molecules. And uh, people don't usually use them for cooking. I think because they just don't associate them with cooking raw, uh, from raw to cooked products. Well, my mom used to make microwave meatloaf, which was one right. of the great crimes against food. She would do it from raw? From raw. Oh, that's awesome. She'd put it in, yeah. smear some red stuff on top. <laughs> And then it would go in there for like 30 minutes and you'd come out with like this crumbly hamburger business. Okay. I don't use it for meat so much. I do use it for meats if I want to dry them out. Like you put prosciutto in there, it's mm -hmm. real crispy and glassy. Or, or bacon. Like you're making pizza, you don't want your pepperoni to get all greasy. Right. You fire that in there right. for a little bit. But what they're really amazing for, I think, is vegetables. Really amazing spring vegetables, fresh vegetables. And we're not talking about frozen or canned vegetables. Mm -hmm. You go to the uh, amazing carrots, amazing broccoli, cauliflower, sweet peas, anything fresh off the vine. Um, works great in a microwave. Stuff, yeah. stuff that traditionally you'd steam or steam boil? Steam or stir fry or boil or something, okay. yeah. And the reason why it works so great in the microwave is because they're basically all water, you know? The carrot is mostly water. It's like 95% water, basically. Um, so they kind of cook themselves. So if you peel them, chop them up, prep them how you normally would, mm -hmm. um, if you're gonna saute them or boil them or something, put them in a little bowl, put a little bit of clean film over the bowl, okay. and pop them in the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the vegetable. Carrots take a little bit longer. Something like broccoli takes a little bit less time. Okay. Um, within seconds, they just are totally vibrant, beautiful, tender. They cook themselves. They come out piping, steaming hot. And you don't leach away the stuff that you want to no. keep in the vegetables, nope. right? You don't lose any moisture. You don't put water in. You don't pull out nutrients, like if you're boiling or something like that. Um, so you're going to preserve the integrity of the actual fresh vegetable. It's really amazing. So now that we kind of understand how we think about a microwave mm -hmm. and what we're going to do with it, I'll show you how to make this really amazing carrot dish. Um, they're basically uh, microwave carrots, mm -hmm. really nice fresh yogurt, cilantro and gram masala, which is like the nice Indian spice blend, lots of coriander, mace, and fenugreek, uh -huh. and fresh cilantro. No thing comes together in two minutes. Well, that's, that's amazing. Ridiculous. Yeah. That's rad. So to get started, any carrots, again, these are just basic carrots from upstairs. We're here in the Pike Place Market. Mm -hmm. uh, we get nice spring veggie carrots. Um, just so I have something a little more common here. This cross peeler, if you don't have one of these at home, it's one of my favorite things. I, they're the best. It's so much faster and easier. Yeah, they're and the I, best. It's only taken off two fingertips, so. <laughs> I have all my fingernails. Yeah, so I just peel, 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 peel. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple few of them, just so we have kind of like one dish. Okay. The I mean, so you touched on this a minute ago, but the, the microwave, all it's doing when you're using the microwave is heating up water, right? So yes. So you're energizing water mole molecules. They're getting really hot. It yep. usually works from the inside out, yep. right? Um, yep. They're just, those little water molecules start to rub up against each other. They vibrate. They just get uh, real hot and the vegetable starts to cook themselves. There's one little <laughs> trick, one little consideration you want to have okay. when you're going to microwave vegetables. Um, if you have a little piece that's about that big, mm -hmm. that's going to cook a little bit different than a piece that's this big. Okay. And one of the things when we were first digging into microwaves, you learn is microwaves are really bouncing all over the place, you know? So it's likely if you just put them on a plate, this guy would get cooked and this guy would stay raw. Because it's just because it's too small. He's too tiny. So he's just dodging all the microwaves. But if you put all the bits in a bowl and cover it in cling film, mm -hmm. it starts to cause this uh, chain reaction with steam. So okay. they cook nice and evenly. So it's, it's like a nuclear reactor. Yeah. <laughs> with carrots inside. I like that. Yeah. So we um, just- And it looks like you're trying to keep them all kind of the same- Yeah, relatively, as yeah. As close as you- Carrots yep. are tough, right? Yep, yep, they're a little tougher. Yep, and then when I peel them, I just peel all the way to the end, so I have that little nug there. Little plastic wrap, saran wrap. Okay. Really straightforward. We've got our little industrial looking one here. Yep, you can get that at Costco or wherever. Yep. Giant rolls. Giant rolls. A 20 year wrap. supply of plastic wrap for a normal person. $3. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we go through it like crazy here at Chef Steps, sure. but uh, at home, I think I have one of those rolls that's four or five years old yeah. still. So. Um, do you poke holes or anything in this, or do you nope. just leave it sealed up? Nope. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna pop these guys in the microwave, full power. Okay. Because we just want to steam them real fast. 
Um, it's not a gentle process. So you just really want that water cooking. So really two things happening here. The, the water's heating up and then the secondary effect is the steam comes off of the carrots. Yep. And that's that's going to finish the job. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you put it in the, in the microwave oven full speed. Yep. How long? Um, for carrots, probably about 60 seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So no pretty time. fast. Yeah, pretty fast. So in they go, and even the cheapest microwaves, I really like to have the ones that have the little carousel, uh -huh. just to make sure they're nice and even. Do they even make ones without the carousel anymore? I had one in college, I, I it was $45. Yeah, I, I don't know, I would think they do, but one minute. So we'll get the rest of this stuff going. Okay, a little cilantro? Yeah, a little bit of cilantro, just some nice fresh leaves, just a little bit there. Okay. No. So, so this, this is just really yummy Greek yogurt. Full fat Greek yogurt? Full fat Greek yogurt. I like where you're going with right? this. Side dish is one of those things I always have problems with. I never, I'm good at entrees. I never know what to do with sides. So I'm always excited about, about stuff like this. Now that is, those are, that's some steam. That's steam. Yeah. It's kind of pretty. It is, it's neat. <laughs> it's unexpectedly attractive. All right. Cool. So from here, just for this dish. You're just dressing, you didn't even, you know, like a real rough chop there. Yep, a little bit of oil. That's just olive oil. Olive oil. A nice, a good olive oil. Some yeah, salad. this is actually a little cured olive oil. So okay. it comes from those uh, shriveled up uh, dried olives. A little okay. salt on the yogurt. <clears throat> this is some chopped masala we make here at Chef's Steps. And this is a, this is. It's like a little Indian oh, spice yeah. blend, oh, coriander and fenugreek yeah. and yeah, really, really nice stuff. Put a little bit more in the yogurt because I just love it. That's pretty. You're gonna toss it up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And the olive oil is picking up the little, little oh, yellow yeah. color. Yep. I just uh, made a little bit of a well with the, mm -hmm. with the yogurt. Oh, this Beauty. looks great. Perfect. This looks lovely. Yeah. Right. Healthy, delicious carrots. This is a, this packed is, with flavor. They're this, gonna be nice and sweet too. You toss it up. Yeah. I just like them nice and oily, and get the yogurt all over them. I just love these. So what was it when you when you guys were building this one? Is this a uh, um, was inspired by Indian dishes, or was this some, something you came up with and wanted to wanted to do yourself? The flavors, yes, the flavors, yeah. I want more gram masala or chopped masala. Sorry, this is chopped. Thank you. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it's just awesome. Oh, that's terrific. Right? Yeah, it's, it's like fifteen different flavors all colliding <laughs> at once. And then there's this super sweet, nice tender carrots at the mm -hmm. same time. This is fabulous. Carrots are, um, I really love them in the microwave. They're just a little more finicky, just because they go from tender, sweet things in the ground to very woody things. Um, things like peas, broccoli, cauliflower, um, anything green really. It's basically 30 seconds full power, surefire thing. And it's, it's gonna be really easy. And you don't need to add water. It's not like you're steaming. Nope. You're steaming nope. with the water that's they in steam the vegetables. Themselves, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, if people wanna find out more, these recipes are online? Yes, they're on uh, chefsteps.com. Beautiful, thank yep. you so much, Grant. Absolutely. Um, and we will have some more from Seattle later on this week. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.